நான் ஸ்ரீ சேரம் வெல்கம் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீடியோ வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் தீரி அண்ட் ப்ரொசீஜர் ஆஃப் மெகல்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்டர்ஃபியூரோமீட்டர் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் பி டிஸ்கஸிங் த சிமுலேஷன் ஆஃப் மெகல்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்டர்ஃபியூரோமீட்டர் ஸோ இஃப் யூ சி தி ஃபிகர் ஹியர் திஸ் இஸ் தி லேசர் சோர்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் தி பீம் ஸ்பிளக்டர் திஸ் இஸ் தி ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் மிரர் எம் ஒன் அண்ட் ஹியர் வி ஹாவ் அ மூவபிள் மிரர் எம் டூ which we can move by adjusting the micrometer here and we have a uh, mirror oh, sorry we have a screen where we will get the fringes so here we have four lasers krypton helium neon laser argon laser and ruby laser you can choose any one of them uh, which you want to find the wavelength so i am taking helium neon laser and uh, power on the laser source now here is the option adjust mirror now uh, we need to adjust the uh, if you see uh, uh, fringe here it is not a focused image so we need to adjust the mirror so that we will get the focused image on the screen so unless you adjust the mirror to get focused image this adjust micrometer button or uh, this slider won't be active so uh, now we need to adjust the mirror i am adjusting the mirror till i get the focused image on the screen at this point uh, i got the focus image on the screen and the adjust micrometer button is activated now i can adjust the micrometer uh, to introduce a path difference between the rays and produce interference fringes this is how you can do uh, this is how uh, you can actually create path difference between these two lines and produce a uh, uh, constructive or destructive interference based on the Uh, for the difference you are giving so um, actually our aim is to find out the value of the wavelength of the given laser source put through it so uh, here i choose helium neon laser source so i need to find the wavelength of the helium neon laser source if you remember in the last video uh, we discussed the formula for the wavelength of the source light source that is nothing but 2 into delta d by delta m where delta m is the number of fringes that are passing through a fixed point and delta d is the distance uh, distance moved by the uh, mirror in this case distance moved by the micrometer okay so you can uh, count the number of fringes that are passing through a point by moving the micrometer in one direct in this direction or in this direction but we should not uh, measure uh, off of the fringes in one direction and uh, remaining off in in the backward direction it results in backless errors so kindly avoid that you are starting initially you can put it 0 0 uh, now uh, i am fixing a point here on the screen okay and i am using my right arrow button to just adjust the micrometer by a small distance so as you can see i will come as i click on the right arrow button the micrometer moves and the fringes pass through the uh, this pointer position i will count the number of fringes that how many fringes has passed the point so i am just uh, adjusting the micrometer you can uh, watch carefully and you focus on the screen and count the number of fringes that are passing through the pointer on the screen i'm just doing 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now uh, i choose it for um, delta m as a 7 actually uh, it should be very a larger number like uh, Uh, it should be uh, around some 300 or um, 250 around like that and i'll measure the distance that moved in the screw gaze that is delta d just substitute the value of delta d and the number of fringes that pass through the point delta m in the formula la you will get lambda uh, this is how we will find out lambda thank you for watching please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon for the more updates from the youtube channel thank you